in our powertrain, you know, we, we have our, our battery, our inverter, our motor, our transmission. You've probably seen this three or four times already today. Um, and when we're starting to look at the losses, we need to take this step by step. So, so we're not going to look at battery, but the first step we're going to look at is, is the inverter. And if we look at the, the path of power for the inverter, we have DC power in. This is coming from the battery. Um, we have transmission through an inverter, and then we have AC power out. And our efficiency is going to be you know, AC power over DC power. But along the way, we're, we're losing some of that energy. And where does that energy go? Well, if we take our equation here, PAC equals PDC minus conduction losses, these are the actual resistance of the switch and the resistance of the components transmission lines. We have switching losses. Um, we'll, we'll discover a little bit more about switching losses, but when we turn a switch on or we turn a switch off, we incur some energy loss, and, and those can add up. Um, as you probably heard, inverters are switching you know, in the 8 to 10 to 20 kilohertz range. And then we have stray losses, and, and these are kind of the catch-all for everything else, but um, there's off-state losses, there's support circuits, uh, there, there's just generally things that are difficult to characterize. So we're not going to pay as much attention to those because um, that's kind of our catch-all, but we will touch on. So before we can go too deep into this topic, we need to understand a little bit about inverter switch operation. So if we're looking at the inverter switch, um, when the switch is off, so this will be off, if we're measuring across the switch, so we have a probe on, on the um, input and output side of the switch, when the switch is off, we'll measure a high voltage and no current. Now, in these inverter switches, these are solid state switches, um, when we give the command to turn them on, we're going to see a little current rise, and then we're going to see the voltage start to fall because we're creating a short and then our voltage difference is going to be zero. And in this rise time and fall time, we have a little period where the, the high voltage and the high current overlap, and we get this little spike of power. Then when the switch is in the on state, which is the conduction area, we have a current flowing through the switch, but our voltage is near zero, and we have a little bit of that conduction loss because there still is some voltage, a little voltage drop. 